الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Muslims have a unique culture and unique history and Muslims have the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to follow However unfortunately we tend to be distracted by many other things in this worldly life as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned us against being caught up in this worldly life and warned us about following other nations especially resembling them and resembling them in worship in their celebration and in their forms of worship and this shows us that the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that shirk would happen in the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is the case in this time and even in the early history of Islam after the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum when the other groups came on the scene began to come to light the qadariyya the khawarij the qadariyya the shia but especially groups like the mu'tazila and the jahmiya later the ashaira and so forth that they began to some of those groups commit a form of shirk and began to leave the sabil al mu'minin by distorting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes subhanahu wa ta'ala negating them and along with that or affirming that for us is the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam man tashabbaha bi qaumin fa huwa minhum whoever resembles a people then he is from them and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said la tarqabun sunan man kana qablakum that you would follow the way of those groups that came before you meaning the jews and the christians by doing what by especially falling into shirk in worship and so we have to revive the call to tawhid and this is why ahl sunnah busies himself with tawhid calling to the worship of allah alone and affirming allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes as they should be affirmed this is the minhaj and methodology of ahl sunnah wal jamaah and so it's imperative that we revive the call to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the call to tawhid and we ask Allah the Almighty by all of his divine names and attributes to grant us forgiveness grant us guidance and bless us to be of those whom he loves and is pleased with and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with jannah to firdaus and revive the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam bless them to come back away from shirk and away from kufr and away from nifaq and all the sins and shubahat and bless us to be on the pristine da'wa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated for us based on kitabi Allah wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam